Hi everyone, hope you are doing well. Uh, so today I want to share you how to pass the PDF document content and add them into the uh, Excel list. So firstly, let me share you, okay, this document, okay, my requ requirement here. So I want create, uh, I want to pass the four invoices PDF and add some content like the uh, the invoice number, the PO number, and the, the total account, total amount into uh, an Excel document, the list here. So, okay, let me share you how to do that. Okay, firstly, let's create a new flow here. Oh. Okay, there you go. Uh, we, we can see add uh, invoice PDF to, uh, to Excel, right? Okay, Excel. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay, so firstly, uh, let's get the, the, the files, uh, this document, the PDF documents, firstly. Uh, let's see, get files, get files here, okay, get the files in folder, the folder should be the test, we can go to the, no, the document, test, and we should set the filter just for PDF, PDF, and okay, we need to include the subfolder, so okay, for now we got we have got all these PDF documents here. Then, next we need to open the target Excel. So we just see uh, launch Excel here. We need to, we, okay, we launched a not new document. We have created template there. We just open the following document. It is, um, this one. Okay, save. So um, next, we need to parse each of this PDF document here. So it, it could be a loop. So we need to parse each document for each. We'll just drag here and the variable a value to to iterate. Uh, we choose. Uh, this one, we should choose the current, no, we choose the files because we loop the files, right? This files is the, the, document, the PDF document here. Save. And in the loop, we need to parse. Uh, we need to um, extract the, the, the content from PDF firstly. So we can see extract. Extract text from PDF. Then PDF file, or not, we need not specify the document, we just set the current item for each loop, right? The current item. And then we just pass all pages, that's it. Save. Then we, for now we got all the content of the PDF. Then we need to parse them and find the information we require, we're requiring, right? So next is parse. Pass text here. We just text pass. That's the text from here, from in this step. That means the output of this step. Let's see the name here. It's extract PDF text. Okay, let's choose the, yes, this one. And the text to find. Okay, let's look at the document here. Firstly, we get we need to find the invoice number. Uh, we just copy it. Then go to okay. We just text to find. And uh, starting from the, the, the position zero, that means we from the beginning to find to look for the invoice number. This string. Okay. Let's save. So. After this step, we will find the, the starting position of invoice number. But you know, we need the, 
the actual number is the number is from 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 here, right? Not from here. So for this, for now, we we got the position here, right? So we need to add the length of the title, right? The name. So let's check its length. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, sixteen. We just add sixteen, right? So we can see a uh, variable increase. We choose the variable is uh, let's see the variable. Okay, the position, the position, we need to add the position. Position here, select, and add 16, the length of the, the title. So now we get, the, we get the position of this number, right? So we need, so we need, to, cal we need to count the length of this number uh, to extract Okay, see, so it's uh, okay. It's eight digit digits. So next, we just get the sub text text get sub con uh, text. So, okay, the original text it must be the this one, right? Because we got this text from the the, the PDF. This this is the output of this step. Then we we'll start index. We just choose the position from a specified position. What's the position? The position is we calculated from the, the previous step. And the length. How how that means how many how many characters we need to uh, extract? We just counted as eight digits, right? Then it will. This is output. That means that we just uh, uh, extract. Eight digits uh, or eight characters and uh, save it into this variable. So we can change the name here. It should be the invoice number. Voice. Okay, just remember no blank. We just put it online. Number. Okay, save it. Well, for now, we have got the the uh, invoice number, but we need three uh, numbers. So the, it's the first one. We just copy, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, then Ctrl V, because for another two numbers, right? And uh, okay, here we just change. This one is not invoice number. The second one is for the PO number. That means the order number. Ctrl C and uh, paste it here, and we need to. Uh, Okay, we just find the position, then we need to increase. That means we need to add this, the length and find the position of the, the, the actual number, the number we required. Copy it and paste in the notepad and calculate the length. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, 18. Add 18. Save it. Okay, next we need to know the length of this number. Okay, only five digits, right? Okay, next guess context should be five. And we will save it, not the invoice number, it should be the order number. Order number, save. Then next, we the last we, we find the total. Total number, uh, it should be same. Um, total. It should be faster. Okay, save it and then get the position. Okay, one. Okay, we just start in dollar. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven. Add seven. 
same. And the con they get the context and uh, okay, the number. Okay, from here, I need to let you know if if you know in my invoices the number or in the four invoices the total number is ha have a fixed length. It's total six digits, including the point. But if your invoice invoices uh, has maybe the different numbers, it's not if uh, they are not in, um, they are not fixed. So you can you can follow my previous step. Just uh, parse the text and find the position here, and find the position here, right? Then just use this position minus this position, so you, you can get the length of this number, right? Then you can use the use this number in the get subtext step, right? So that this is not a fixed length, but here I just follow my just use a fixed length because my invoices have a fixed length for the total. That's six. Okay, it's not invoice number here. We need to change to total. Okay, so for now we have got all the three required numbers. Then next we need to save that into the uh, Excel. But before the save step, we need to find the first available or the first free rule, right? So, uh, okay, here. So we need to get the first available rule. Uh, we just choose the Excel instance. This instance is, is uh, this one, right? This one, because we have the only one option. You, you cannot make a mistake. Just, and then we have two outputs. The first one, the free column, the first free rule. This means the first available column, the first available rule. But here we just, maybe we only we will use only this one. Save it. Then we will, okay, this is a get, get the rule. Next, we will save it right into the Excel here. Okay, so write values. Firstly, we need to add the invoice number, the invoice number here, select, then column. Uh, okay, the column here, you can see invoice number is the first column, right? We just set one here. The rule is the first uh, free rule here. Let's save it. Okay, um, next we need to see another number, which is copy, paste, control C, control V. Okay, so for the rest of two numbers, we just choose, first they remove that, and uh, got all the number, just to make sure, you know, if you just uh, choose this directly, it will be add into this, uh, a new variable, it will not remove the previous one. Just so, firstly, you need to remove the, the old value here and add and add the new on new variable. Okay, it's all number, and then yeah, others we should set the column is the second one. The next, the last one, we choose the total. You can see if we set the total, but it will keep. The previous one, right? Just never remove that. The total, and we add in, into the third column. That's it. And okay, after the loop ends, so we need to save the the Excel. The Excel. We need to save it. And we need to close it. Okay, we will save the document here. Okay, that's it. Let's have a try. So let's close.
close the doc document here. Let's close the document here. Let's give it a try. OK, run. Hmm. OK, it's done. Let's check the result here. Oh, nice. So we have added the four invoice um, content, the required content, into this list. Well, that's it, guys. So if you have any questions, just let me know. I hope uh, this video is helpful for you. OK, thank you. Thank you for watching. See you next time.